Get ready for the technical term that we're using today in this class period for this tool. This is, wait for it, a dirt duster. Dirt duster. Oh. Today in class, students are taking on the simulated role of being an archaeologist. We've got our dig boxes, and the dig boxes are related to several different societies that lived in medieval Africa. What I'm hoping when students finish this up is that they will be able to explain what the artifacts that they've unearthed may tell us about the culture that lived in that area. They begin to understand that this isn't just a social studies classroom, this is kind of our learning lab for life. Gentlemen, what have you unearthed? If every day we're learning a little bit more and we're understanding the world a little bit more, then, then we're doing our job. What do you think well, that ring might be used for? It's pretty small. Yeah. Okay. There's so much more to this age range. They have a thirst for doing good. It just has to be opened up, a little modeling, and, and they're off and running. So if people were trading for sponges, what does that tell you about the culture? They react very strongly to things that they don't think are fair. The world is, is at times a very unjust place. And so it provides us lots of opportunities for really deep conversations. Stephanie just drops little seeds and then waters it along the way. And these students become leaders in our community. My son had her for social studies and language arts in seventh grade. And that was a turning point year for him. I saw just kind of an inner strength in his life that he didn't have before. He cared more. She really gets to know a person by who they are inside. If you're having a bad day, she can really brighten it up. And the second you walk into her classroom, you can just feel this really peaceful atmosphere. That's really cool. I want my students to look forward to coming to class because they know they're going to learn something important that they can then use outside of this classroom. When the kids come in in the morning and they're jazzed about what we're going to do in social studies or at the end of the day they don't want to leave or before lunch like, oh, the class is already over. I mean, that, that is just an amazing feeling to be able to see kids really excited about learning and, and feeling safe in this environment. That's, that's huge for me and, and I absolutely care about them. Teaching is not just my job, it's my passion. Luckily, my husband's okay with that. <laughs> the hours are long and sometimes it feels like my heart is going to break because of the things that I see my students struggling with, both inside school and out. But every day, over 150 students remind me why I'm there. We teach kids first and our content second. It is time for the middle grades to be recognized for what they are, a critical time in a human's life, not simply the bridge between elementary school and high school. I am privileged to work where I do, with the families that I do, with the students that I do, and I owe that in large part to my family. And I hope that as a nation we will begin to recognize the important things that happen for this age and show our students that we love them because we know what they're capable of doing. Thank you.